Hi, this is Justice. In this video, I'm going to go over all the basics and some advanced features of using the handwriting input panel. Now, this is one that if you haven't used it before, if you've used it a little bit, it can be very frustrating trying to use a pen to input text. And so I'm going to show you how to, how to use it consistently or close to consistently so that that frustration disappears. If you use a stylus and Microsoft Windows, this is a great channel to help you use your tablet more effectively in every location. So stay tuned, please subscribe, and let's get started. So here is the touch input panel. If you don't have it on your screen, you can add this icon, touch keyboard. If you're tapping this with your stylus, it should bring up the handwriting input panel. If it does not, you can use this little gear icon and choose the handwriting option right here. Now, if you don't see the touch keyboard option at all, you can right click here on the taskbar and choose taskbar settings. So this option right here, this is what we want to turn on in order to make sure this shows up here. If you're using the Tablet Pro touch panel, then over here you'll have an option for pressing the button for the keyboard and having it pull up the handwriting input panel. So I have notepad open and I have written touch panel basics. Notice that as I've selected it with the stylus here, that it showed up here. Now, if I'm trying to edit this and I just write pen right over the top of touch, you notice it's going to change it to pinch, which is not correct. And so how do we get this to work correctly? So what you can do, you can select the whole thing or you can select just the word pinch scratch it out and write the word pen. And that works quite well. This up here should show you a couple other options with uh, predictive text. Inside of settings, you also have the options for Bluetooth devices, pen and Windows ink. And then right here, use your handwriting to enter text. And here you can choose what font, the font size, and when it shows up, or to write with your fingertip. I don't do that personally, but you have that option. And these are my additional pen settings here. And you also have the option in privacy and security of inking and typing personalization. You can turn this on. And what this is going to do is it's going to learn from your handwriting so that it gets better as you go. All right, so let's go ahead and hop back over here. If you open up the regular touch panel and you want it to be handwriting, click the gear and click right here. If you click on this down option, you'll see that it populates the whole thing right down here. We don't want to use that. That's a little too big, a little too intense. All right, so let's go ahead and select our text right here and let's go over the basics. So we've handwritten this. Let's say we want to combine these two words. You can draw a little smiley face underneath. If we want to split them, a little up caret. Now, if you're trying to add a word in between two words, another up caret will allow you to type in something in between, panel, panel. Because I'm talking, I can't think of <laughs> anything better. <laughs> All right, so here you notice that this one is extra white. These are a little bit grayed out. That means this is what is going to be adjusted. If we click up here, we choose pane, it's going to adjust this here. If I circle this, sometimes it will turn into another letter or another word and sometimes it will just select the word itself. This is selected, that means that anything I want to write right here will replace this whole thing. So we can write the word panel, we can go directly over the other word and it's just fine. So here I'm going underneath and around, that selected the whole thing and for some reason changed it to something else, but this is now the selected word. So if I were to write touch, you'll see that we have this um, mostly correct. If we want to get rid of this, just this L right here, we're going to do an up caret, and then we're going to draw a line through it. Okay, now I have one more trick for you, so keep paying attention. So here we can click on these three dots, and this is going to give us a couple extra options. If we want, we can use these numbers to populate symbols, which are a little bit harder to hand write in. And right here, there's a, a space button. If you touch on it and drag, what you're going to do is you're going to be moving the cursor. Notice up in notepad, pen panel, touch basics. 
I'm moving the cursor over, I'm putting it right next to touch. And now if we write something else, fast, you're going to see that it inputs right there. Now if we want to make sure that we have these two words split, we can just put a little up caret right there. So this is really great. Now I recommend if you're doing this and you want to learn a little bit more of how to do this in a more advanced way, that you look at the touch panel from Tablet Pro. This is very, very useful if you're doing any type of pen and Windows interaction. So I'm gonna go into a minute on using this touch panel. If you're in a situation where you're using your, your pen to handwrite text, you need to be looking at the touch panel here from Tablet Pro. So we're gonna close this right here. We're gonna add a period, hit the enter key, and then we're gonna jump into using Cortana. This is very fast. If you're trying to use handwriting, you might want to switch into using voice typing if you have the opportunity to do so. Period, enter, enter. Now we can select text here. And with it selected, you'll notice that we have an option of capitalizing. So let's go ahead and go right back down here. We're going to use Cortana, new paragraph. If you underhand, how to do this, it will be much easier for you to use your computer, especially if you're walking around or you're doing work that doesn't allow you to use a physical keyboard. Exclamation point. So I have a tutorial on using Microsoft Word with the touch panel over here and uh, dictation, which is different than Cortana the dictation inside of Microsoft Word and Outlook is quite a bit better than Cortana. So keep that in mind. You can do a lot more advanced editing than you can just a notepad. All right, so let's look here under hat stand. So we can go right here. Let's just select this section and then press the delete button over here. It will be much easier. Again, we have this word right here. We want this to be lowercase i, so we made that right here, and remember we can select this block and draw a little up caret. Let's select our if and make this a capital I, F. Perfect. That's my quick tutorial on using the handwriting input panel inside of Windows 11. It's got a lot of potential. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the Tablet Pro Artist Pad. It's a great tool. Uh, you can find it at www.tabletpro.com. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.